Michael Spear and loving basketball, right? The part is such a great part. I love the character. Um, I love the script. It was so moving to me and such a page turner. I really wanted to know what was going to happen. And this character is so strong and so admirable in her strength and, and courage and fearlessness. And it's a great role. We're, we're almost competing with each other. I think because both of the characters individually were competitors, and when you know when they got together, it was a competition. You know, you have a husband or a boyfriend or what have you, and it's like you know male female competition. You know who's in power. You know, and, but it, it, it superseded that. It was like because we were both ball players, and I was at the top of my game. My character was at the top of his game, and and her character was was finding her way. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and wasn't didn't have it laid out like my character had it laid out. You know, and that added for a lot of spice. Look, I don't have it easy like you are, right? There's no red carpet laid out for me. Basketball is really such a, it's a skill. It's like learning to be a ballet dancer. I mean, it's its not something that you can just pick up. And I re quickly realized that, that, you know, bouncing the ball and not looking and running and then being able to bounce it in your left hand and then throw, you know, making the basket. I mean, it's a whole nother world. And to get, you know, my body to do that took lots of just drilling over and over and over again. How did you approach it to begin with? I just got out there with the ball and started bouncing it. <laughs> I mean, I went out with my brother and he tried to show me as much as he knew and then I moved on to, they got me a coach, a professional coach, and she put me through grueling uh, practices every day and for now, five months. I never asked you to choose. You never have to. I was as good as your average Joe who wears number 23 jersey in the park <laughs> and, and thinks he's Michael Jordan, but nowhere near. How did you get yourself in shape for that? How did they get you doing? I, um, you know, two hours a day, two months, uh, practice with Steve Spencer. He's the assistant coach of the Bruins, UCLA Bruins, and that, that was really fun. Mm -hmm. But a lot, you know, and just learning the fundamentals and getting, you know, the tools to go out there and just play. And then you add the pizzazz, depending on the shot and, and that sort of thing, you know? When you're a kid, you, you see the life you want. And it never crosses your mind that it's not going to turn out that way. What do you think when they said Omar Epps was playing the male lead? Oh, I, well, I knew way before I got the part that he was playing it, and I thought he was perfect. He was great. He's such a good actor, and he's professional, and he makes it easy. Well, we worked, like I said, I was training, and, and she also trained, and, uh, and we trained together. Like, you know, she, she was training for like four or five months before she even knew she had a shot at the part, just to you know, get that, that athletic kind of movement in her body. And when we train together, you know, I'm competitive, so I was hard on her. But the, hey, that's sports, uh, you know, there's a winner and there's a loser, and I'm trying to win. You knew it never mattered to you one way or another while I was at them games. It mattered, Mom? How was it having those scenes with Alfred? It was great. At first, I was scared. <laughs> She's such an amazing actress, but she was so there for me, so giving. I learned just by watching. You know, she's really adept and passionate about what she does. She knows what she's doing, and I learned by watching, and she really was supportive. I'll play you. What? <laughs> For what? Your heart. How would you describe this film for someone who hasn't seen it? A coming-of-age love story about two basketball players. I think it's a classic love story. Yeah, I think it was a love story with basketball as a backdrop. It has nothing to do with race. It's, like I said, it's a love story which is universal. You know, basketball, that particular sport, any sport is universal. And as far as it being with black characters, you know, you got these two, you know, black kids who are in suburbia USA who have, you know, two-parent households. And that's something that's refreshing that you never really see, but it wasn't played on. We didn't play on that, so you don't think about it, you know? Any person from any ethnic background can go see this film and be inspired by the love and by the, the passion and the, and the competitiveness of, of both of the characters, you know?